Tire sidewall cracking, also known as dry rot, happens when the tire's rubber compound begins to deteriorate. The rubber starts to split and separate as a result of this. Although there are some things that can speed up this aging process, tire dry rot is entirely related to how tires naturally deteriorate. I will try to explain how to prevent tire dry rot, what causes this problem, and can dry rotted tires be repaired in this brief video. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Initial signs of tire dry rot include tiny cracks along the tire sidewall. Typically, these cracks begin small, but as time passes, they grow larger and deeper along the sidewall. Almost always, tire dry rot can be found on the sidewall of the tire, but it can also occasionally be found between tread blocks or on the tread block itself. Tire dry rot frequently begins on the inside of the tire, which is more concerning for drivers because by the time you notice anything on the outside, there's a good chance that there is already a lot of dry rot on the inside of the tire. How to prevent. Knowing how to spot dry rot and what to do about it is helpful, but it's much better to know how to avoid it in the first place. Because even though dry rot on tires cannot be entirely avoided, it can be significantly slowed down. Five recommendations that you can use to prevent your tires from dry rotting are highlighted below. Tire sitting in one spot for too long without use is one of the main reasons for dry rot. Dry rot is much less likely to develop in tires that are regularly used, so the process ought to take longer. To help lower the risk of dry rot, we advise removing the tires from the vehicle and storing them properly if you plan to leave your car in one place for longer than three months. One of the simplest things you can do to help prevent dry rot is to keep tires out of direct sunlight if you're storing tires for an extended period of time or parking your car all day. When not driving, simply parking the car in a garage can have a significant impact. It is essential to completely dry out tires before storing them if you are removing them from your vehicle and keeping them in storage. Dry rot is primarily brought on by standing water, and most storage spaces don't have enough ventilation to allow the water to completely evaporate. Keep them at a consistent temperature. The more consistently you can maintain a temperature, the less likely it is that dry rot will set in on your tires. Although you won't be able to control the tire temperature while you're driving, it will help if you keep your car parked in a garage. To slow the spread of dry rot, you should aim to maintain a temperature of between 45 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the best things you can do to prevent dry rot from developing when storing tires between season is to keep them in airtight bags in a cool, dark location. It will be less likely that you will have to deal with dry rot as a result of all the factors that cause it being reduced. Even though it takes a little more work, it makes a significant difference. What causes dry rot on tires? Tires naturally age and develop dry rot as a result. There is a manufacturing process that gives tires the strength and shape they need to stay on your vehicle, whether the rubber used is natural or synthetic. Although it is an efficient process, it is not permanent. The rubber compounds inside of aging tires begin to degrade, which separates the polymers from one another. This manifests as tiny cracks, also known as dry rot. Can dry rotted tires be repaired? Depending on the severity of the dry rot, trying to repair dry rotted tires is generally not advised. Because tires frequently dry rot from the inside out, there is a good chance that the inside of the tire also has a lot of dry rot if you notice dry rot on the outside. A tire technician may be able to repair a tire with a tire sealant for minor dry rot, but for any sidewall cracking that extends beyond even the smallest amount, we advise replacing the tire with the appropriate size to be safe. Are they safe to drive on? No, it only takes a short while for dry rotted tires to fail because they are unable to hold air as well as tires without the condition. Tires with sidewall crackings can fail with minor air leaks through the cracks, but occasionally they completely blow out. This occurs when air begins to push through the crack, and the force of the air pushing through the crack causes it to widen even more. As you drive down the road, the tire's overall integrity eventually fails, resulting in a complete tire blowout. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.